Hello Flustu, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you my latest purchases connected with cross-stitching of course and uh, I would like to start with my next uh, cross-stitch statue, cross-stitch figurine. This is um, one stitch at a time. This is Jim Shore as you can see and this is a design of 2010 as much as I can see because it's very little print here. Uh, this was a very great wish of mine. Um, you can find them, not a lot, but still they pop out on, on eBay. And when I saw one at a decent, I would say, nice price, I uh, I purchased it. But, um, how do they say? Despite the nice price, <laughs> the thing is that this one, I can say, that came for me for, for free. Uh, not with a pleasant taste. Uh, because um, unfortunately, while traveling, because this one was traveling from USA, while traveling, uh, this one was broken. Um, when I got it, and I was got like getting into the the house, you know, and uh, I was holding the box, I just heard something like uh, rambling inside, and I my first thing, my first feeling was that something is broken there. I was like praying that this one would be whole, but no, I opened it and it was broken. And I was so, how do I say, heartbroken and angry. You, I cannot tell you about this. I um, wrote to the sender. I um, like um, showed the photos. The sender like showed the photos when being packed and uh, sent to me, and it was whole. So the conclusion was that only the company, the transporting company, they just. I don't know what you can do with a box so that you would break it, and. And by the way, after three weeks of filling in forms and uh, calls, I just managed to get uh, the whole reimbursement from FedEx because uh, the career was FedEx, yes. And um, all this time, because I took photos, I like filled in everything and this one was in the box, broken. I just didn't want to open it to remember this this thing. And when everything was uh, sort sorted out, you know, like I had the um, refund, um, I was cleaning up and I just saw the box and uh, thought, what should I do uh, with it? Took it out and um, told myself, okay, let me try um, restore it. Uh, the thing is, what was broken here, actually. You know, the good thing about the Jim Shore um, um, uh, figurines, this is the first time when I was encountered with such a situation that a figurine is broken. The good thing is uh, that in my case, at least, they didn't get splinters, you know. It was uh, two brokes, but they were nice. <laughs> what was broken? It was broken this uh, part of the uh, chair. <clears throat> and this was the mild thing, because uh, so I uh, um, glued it here, I restored it like here. When you look very carefully, uh, and I'm telling you that this one was broken and I attached it, I like uh, glued it, you can see a little bit where it will happen. If I'm not telling you, you cannot see it. If only this piece of chair was broken, honestly, I wouldn't like make the fuss and wouldn't ask for money back because I would have repaired it and I would have like said, okay, it happens. But the the, the, the worst thing is what is that her head, her head was, was torn apart. You see, it was in the box next to her. And I was like, this was the thing which like was the cherry on the cake, I'll say, <laughs> on the, the bitter cake. And uh, I took it and I looked very carefully at it. I tried to put it back and I saw that there weren't any splinters so that it, it, it smooth. I glued it very, very careful. I had to paint a little bit of black here. Yes, I did the thing. If I'm telling you that this one was broken and I glued it, yes, you can see it. But if I'm not telling you, this one cannot be seen. Because, uh, you know, I didn't tell my husband about all this uh, this thing. And when everything finished, I just repaired it um, the next day. I um, showed it to my husband and said, look, I have a new piece in my collection of uh, cross-stitch figurines. And he said, oh, it's a nice one. I said, where is it from? I told him. And I gave it into his hand and said, look at her carefully. And he said, why are you giving it to me? Said, look, do you like the details, so on and so forth? And he said, yeah, it's nice. And I told him, do you see that it was broken? And he said, what? He said, her head was like uh, torn apart. And he said, he, when he looked very carefully, yes, he was able to see where. But at first glance, he didn't see. So after repairing it, I decided that this one stays with me. 
um, because you know I was thinking when I, the money were refunded before repairing this one I was thinking okay what shall I do shall I look for a new one like start hunting for a new one buy a new one but when I started repairing I said okay let me see what I can do with this one repairing it like looking at it and saying that yes it was broken severely damaged I repaired it and this is it she's going to be with me she already has a story a history I healed her <laughs> I treated her the, the details are extremely extremely nice very beautiful very beautiful so yes this is what it happened to my lady from williamsburg okay uh next one it was a uh, an order which came from ukraine from um, a brand which is very popular uh, already for has been popular for a few years so far it's called wonderland crafts you see this here this is a brand i have a lot of products from them and um, i like them very much and uh, like uh, during the uh, winter holidays when i saw i think on instagram uh, one of the uh, like um, uh, say one of the uh, like uh, photos where they were like making advertising and saying that uh, if you are purchasing something uh, with 99 dollars and more they are uh, shipping worldwide for free i said this is a very good opportunity because you know usually shipping um, internationally usually it's it's expensive sometimes more expensive sometimes not expensive but it's expensive and i said okay let me make a purchase because because for some time now i wanted to buy these uh, hoops actually these are stitching hoops for perforated paper i'm going to try by the way to use it for um, fabric as well especially the little ones when i stitch some just and smalls but um, they are for perforated paper and they are on magnets let me show you in case you don't know open. i purchased all the sizes they had just in case so that when i will need them i will have them all what do they have here you see this is how they look like and oh my god they are so stiff Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So you see this side, it comes with some magnets, which are inside. And this comes with magnets, which are inside. And you are just, you're fixing the uh, perforated paper. And then like, you have, they are very strong. <laughs> Believe me that they, they are very strong. So this one is um, the largest one and is 14 by 14 centimeters. I try to choose all of them in the same uh, with the same uh, color, the same motif here, so that it would be kind of like a, how do I say having them like all like this. So this is the largest one. Then it comes the next one. It's um, ten by ten centimeters. Then the smallest one. It's six by six centimeters. For small uh, mill heels, one perforated paper, they are going to be perfect. And this one comes on. Uh, nine by six and five centimeters you know those mill heels which come like longer they fit here so i purchased all the uh, sizes they had just like this okay so this was the main uh, goal the main reason of the purchase then from this brand i have kind of uh, this kind of organizer i mean like for beads and for they are for beads mainly i have two large and one smaller if i'm not wrong and i had one like this you see it's, it was even in the box which was like for a couple of years for sure so this one it's like um, here you are inserting the bobbins with the threads so that they will be on display when you are using them and inside has some bobbins but you can put the dmc bobbins i already tried them they are okay and uh, inside you can put like threads you can put deposit something when I started, the, and this one was lying for um, some time now, and I said, why not starting using it finally? And I decided to use it for um, uh, the Nora Corbett 6 Gisa Lane design. And uh, when I opened it, I realized that this one doesn't have a bead organizer. And the uh, brand has uh, these layers for this kind of organizers, all the shapes they have, because they have square, round, this ones, and oval and uh, i don't think they have rectangular but they have uh, shapes like uh, different shapes okay 
Uh, and I said, why not buying just a layer for this one, the bead organizer. And I purchased such a bead organizer. You see, it's just this layer. It's perfect. You are putting it and that's it. It's taller a little bit and you have already the bead organizer. This one comes for how many bobbins? I will tell you in a second. Do they say? It should be somewhere. Ah. I know that you usually they are saying for how many uh, for how many bobbins I'm not going. It's twenty and something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty-six. Yes, twenty-six bobbins. Uh, this kind of organizers they have uh, other shapes as well. They have uh, um, square. They have um, butterfly. If I'm not wrong, I decided to use this one which I had already bought. To see if it's uh, okay for me, it works for me. If it works for me, it's going to be very good. Probably I'm going to buy one more. I'll see. Okay, and one more thing I purchased from them is their famous, um, what they say, uh, kit on uh, wood. You see, this is not perforated paper. This is wood, and um, it's uh, the chart is in inside, and you have uh, threads, and you have beads, and you stitch everything. If I'm not wrong, they have the felt which comes on the other side and you are stitching and you have a full decoration. I like very much this series. You see, they kind of come in from the same series. It's uh, um, house, bells and uh, uh, squirrel. I thought about buying one in the beginning, but I couldn't decide which one. And I said, OK, what the hell? I'm going to buy the three of them, <laughs> the whole series, because there are a few more. But like this one's blue, you see this uh, thing they had just this three. So I purchased the three of them and I'll have them for New Year. OK, and uh, also as they have a lot of uh, designs with beads, uh, they had this bead thread, you see. I was curious to to buy it and try it to see how how this one works, and uh, purchased uh, one uh, spool. They had a packet of three, I think, but I decided to buy one and see if this one it will work for bead work, uh, better than YLI thread. So I'll see if this one is better than YLI thread, <laughs> not Titan 100, which I already use because that one I like. And if it's going to be okay. I think I'm going to make another purchase and I'll buy more of, the, of this thread. By the way, this package came today. So that's it. That's it, which I what I purchased from Ukraine. Okay, next one that I wanted to show you is going to be probably the kits. I have just three kits. <laughs> so uh, what I have been hunting <laughs> recently, um, I'm not buying um, a lot. Lately, I, I, I think so, but I'm not buying a lot because I'm buying just what I like and what I have been wanting for a time, sometime, and uh, I just find for, for good prices. And such a case is uh, this old uh, dimensions. This is a quaint country retreat by Michael Humphreys. Quite popular, I would say, for, uh, for those who love vintage dimensions. Um, I have been liking this for a uh, time for some time but it was a time when there was a boom like a few stitchers stitched it and when somebody stitches it everybody wants to buy it and of course those who sell if they are, if they are aware they see that this ones cost more and they are like selling them for like a higher price the boom went off it became quieter and now i could purchase it for a better price i would say uh, this is the old type of... Uh, I like the fabric here, by the way. I don't think I would change this one because it's wonderful. It's 14th count as far as I can see. And it's, uh, yeah, uh, Fiddler's Cloth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I started liking stitching dimensions as far as I see, so... Uh, one more design. This is a Christmas design. Um, this one... Um, I don't remember seeing anybody stitching it. I don't remember at least, but I saw it on eBay. I analyzed it and I decided that this one should come into my collection because I liked it so much. This is an advent calendar, by the way. Um, does it have a name? Christmas countdown. Yeah, Christmas countdown. So here, this one comes like the upper part. You are stitching the design. It's Santa, which is in his workshop. 
Rudolf is looking through the window and the raccoon. <laughs> a lot of details. This again, this old vintage dimensions, which is so beautiful. Not only dimensions, also Busilla has uh, John Lin has designs like this, like I mean like the vintage ones. And the um, this part uh, of the design, uh, it's uh, the 25 days of the Christmas. And uh, these things, these little things, um, they have to be stitched separately on um, plastic can canvas, on plastic uh, thing, you see? Um, I am thinking seriously about taking this one uh, like into stitching. I mean like this year so that it would be ready until the 1st of December because uh, because of my child because we are very into advent calendars uh, we used to have chocolate advent calendars for each member of the family uh, what else the child has a um, toy advent calendar usually this is Lego because he's a Lego, Lego fan uh, what else I am used to buy beauty calendars at least two <laughs> One, at least one or two usually. Um, so far I couldn't uh, find uh, the um, appropriate uh, advent calendar for my husband. I try kind of several ones, but nothing is on his uh, on his taste. So I thought that uh, having this kind of uh, advent like uh, calendar is going to be nice uh, nice as well. So I have to, to think about uh, about this. And uh, one more design which is super old and super kind, kind of, you see, um, this is um, John Lin. And this is a English garden sampler by Teresa Wensler. Yes, um, I know that Teresa Wensler. It's difficult to stitch. There are people, stitchers, who are absolutely in love with her, and they are right because her works stitched are beautiful, exquisite. But they are difficult to stitch because there is there are a lot of colors, uh, there are a lot of blends, there are a lot of three quarter stitches. Uh, she uh, uses to have also uh, like specialty stitches, but these are not the difficult part of the, the design usually. Uh, and beads. Uh, so I am, I am, I like Teresa Wensler's designs, but I am not into like stitching a lot of them. That's why from what I like very much to stitch, this is one of the designs, English Garden Sampler. And uh, as I found it on, on eBay, I decided on a uh, with a very good price, I decided to buy it. So it has the um, even weave, it has a kilo of, or even two kilos of threads, and it has a lot of beads. You see, everything seems to be to be here, to be in its place. So I hope that I will have the, I will dare to start stitching this one one day. Okay, the next kits, these come from um, um, Mill Hill. Because I'm continuing buying the Mill Hill I like, because there was a time I was like, uh, how do I say, ignoring this. And now I said that it's time to continue purchasing uh, Mill Hill. And uh, let's see what I have. I have such a hummingbird. This is how it looks like. What else? Look at the color of the perforated paper. Really nice. The beads. Nice. Uh, then I have um, Millinery Shop. I have also one more uh, design from this. I call them summer designs. Uh, this one is with such a bead. As you can see. Like a button. Sorry, it's not a bead. It's a button. And the beads are these ones. And uh, such an old style. I think this one was reprint. This is Christmas Eve. Not a lot of stitches, and this is how it looks like with rocking rocking horse. It's called this one. Not so many uh, threads. First thing when I saw, I said, "Why so? Not so many threads, but not so many threads because you see, the design itself, the stitching is not a lot." And I also purchased a series of small ones. I am uh, continuing buying the small ones, which I like. Here they should be six, but one of them I didn't see in one to three series. Stitch. I don't know if they are going out of print or they are reprinting it because nowadays you cannot understand. Is there are so many so many changes? So this is the um, pillows, pin cushions. I don't know. They are not the pink cushions because they are. Uh, treasured diamond, tiny treasured diamond, and uh, there are the royal. There are three uh, designs with the royal. This is um, 
Royal Plum. I saw them stitched, by the way. Royal Plum, they come on uh, even weave. Then uh, there is uh, Royal Capri, this one, they come with like this. Then there is uh, Royal Orchid, like this. And there are three which come from the, as I call them, the dessert uh, series, and I have just two of them. This is Tangerine Sorbet. Look at the color of the fabric. It has also um, some cranic, I think. Uh, citrus Parfait. This one, and it has green fabric. And uh, what I'm missing, this is um, Pink Champagne. Uh, that one I couldn't find, but if I'll find it, I'll buy it. Pink Champagne. So I have this one. And that's it about the kits. Now the charts. Uh, charts. How do you think? What charts I have? Yeah. <laughs> I have some charts from um, just now. So I have Rudy Reindeer. Uh, this one uh, is being sold in one to three stitch was in my wish list and when I was making like the next purchase They had it for a discount and it was a sale and I said why not? I know that there is an older version where there are like candles here instead of this uh, presents um, If I'm not wrong Because it uh, doesn't have any charms. It's just uh, some petite beads and that's it of the embellishment pack. I know that once upon a time uh, this uh, frame also was uh, being sold with uh, this uh, charm here. So the frame used, used to cost a lot of money. Uh, then I purchased again the series, uh, this uh, Christmas ornaments. So I have Christmas butterfly ornament and Christmas dragon ornament. Previously in one of our purchases I purchased one which is with a uh, nest don't remember how it's called. So I have one more to buy, the one with uh, B. And I'm buying all this a second time. Why? You will ask, why are you doing this? Because uh, when I purchased them uh, like the first time, I was teaching them on different uh, uh, color of... Um, um, how do I say? Different color of uh, fabric. Uh, the first one, uh, which... Um, uh, I, um, this one, I uh, finished into a um, pin cushion, which is not successfully finished. Uh, this one I finished into, um, and I made a pin out of this uh, dragon. This one I finished into a biscornio, and I made a pin out of this uh, butterfly. And the one with the bee is finished with a, in a pin cushion, but it's stitched on, uh, don't remember which color of uh, linen. And um, like uh, lately, after all these four were released, I saw how stitchers stitched all of them on the same uh, color of uh, fabric. They put, by the way, the same uh, angle of this one, so made them either from center, all of them, either from this uh, side, all of them. They looked beautifully. You know, they looked very beautiful because they more or less have the same size. And there are like four beautiful uh, ornaments which you can use as Christmas tree decoration and they look beautifully. And I said, I want them one more time to um, like to stitch and to make this beautiful decoration. That's why I'm buying them secondly. I need to buy one more, as I said. Then I have um, this uh, all aboard. This is a Noah's arch design, I would say series. Jasmine has a few of them. I am not uh, necessarily a fan um, of Noah's arch designs, but this one couldn't leave me uh, go uh, near because this one has a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, charms. So the charms are here. High. Three, three, six, seven, eight, nine, nine charms. I saw it uh, being stitched with these charms attached, and it looks uh, looks very nice. They give the charms give the design a very beautiful uh, look. Uh, not all the shops sell it. I don't know if it's out of print this one, but there are shops which still sell it. I found it and I purchased it. And then uh, I purchased two more um, angels. I have uh, in a lot. I bought a lot of them. I looked which ones I have and I looked which I don't have and I, there are not so many. I need two or three more, I think. I don't have all of them. I don't know what for. I'll decide how to stitch them, how to finish them. But they're beautiful. They're very beautiful. So I have Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. 
this one already has a uh, frame you can use it if you want and i have serafina this one is like with roses very beautiful i would say so ariel and serafina and that's not everything about just nan the cherry on the cake yes yes i didn't even dream of this one honestly um I started buying materials and I decided to kit, to stitch this one from scratch with the materials I can find uh, next Christmas, honestly, because this uh, felt, this week's that works uh, um, wool felt, I already have, I purchased it from much of a stitch, because I decided when I usually kit such designs, I start buying like little by little when I find the um, the materials. And when uh, one early morning, very early morning, because I used to wake up working the working days, I used to wake up very early because I'm making the coffee for my husband and I'm telling him bye bye. And I'm stitching um, until my husband, my um, son is uh, waking up to get him, get him ready for school. So that's my first stitching uh, thing in uh, quietness. But before getting to stitch, after um, like saying bye bye to my husband, I'm making myself a coffee. And while drinking that coffee, I used to browse. Uh, I used to do purchases online. I used to look like through eBay to see what's new, what different things, what I need to do like online. Uh, and one morning, I don't know, pro probably the person listed this one very late at night. If uh, so early in the morning, nobody was, uh, nobody, uh, bought it yet um, this one Christmas workshop it's an exclusive for the silver, the silver needle it's a design of 2007 and as you know it's very rare and uh, that's why when I saw it once or twice I think on uh, US eBay very expensive uh, I saw once on our eBay but it was just from Pamela's final touch Key, um, it wasn't a kit, it was just the instructions and I didn't need just the instructions. And when I saw this one, I looked at the photos and honestly, I purchased it like immediately. I didn't even ask anything because I was hoping that everything is going to be okay and I am so, so happy. So what I have here, uh, it's uh, the uh, chart, it's the uh, embellishment pack, the charms and the beads. Uh, this one's the uh, linen, this one should be, shouldn't be here, it was uh, other side but I took it from there. This linen is needed like here and on the back if I'm not wrong. And... Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? And uh, I have uh, a box where I have um, this cap. You see the one which will go here on the top. I have the uh, um, star, which is um, wax. The wax. It would be in one of the pockets here, and I have. Um, piece of ribbon, which has to be here on the Christmas tree, as far as I see. Um, okay, what else? Then, the Pamela's final touches, the full thing, so it's it's a kit, actually, this one, because it's the instructions, it's uh, how to cut all the things, and it's the materials, you see? The materials like the felt this felt i this kind of felt i purchased already from one to prestige and all the materials you need you see wonderful wonderful also there was the raw linen you see which is needed for for stitching then it was this linen which i think it was chose for the inside i think i have to check because i didn't read the instructions but i have to check i think the fabric is not going to be a problem then this kind of thread which i suppose is london dairy thread which is going to be used to attach the parts i'm sure about because if it's in the color of linen for sure is for this and then the um, dmc threads you see uh, i I see that I need here Wix that works threads as well, so I'm going to buy probably Wix that works. So I'm going to like open it, read it, and 
I think that for next Christmas I'm going to get ready with this one for stitch. So a dream came true, <laughs> honestly. And one more chart, the last one. This one was a find. Uh, this is a shepherd's bush, angel pie. I don't have many um, charts from um, shepherd's bush. Mostly it's uh, kids, but there are still there are some charts, a number of charts where uh, I like the stitch very much, and this was one of them, angel pie. Uh, by the way, this one is, was a rare find because uh, first when I saw, like uh, I looked uh, through the charts they have i saw what i like and i said okay i'm going to try to buy this this and that uh, all of the others other charts which i liked i managed to buy but this one no because uh, on our ebay uh, i never saw it uh, on um, us just buying this one and paying uh, a lot of money for the uh, delivery didn't have any sense something like this and finally it was here so um you can stitch here the large uh, main scene then there is the small santa whoever this one is you can stitch as a lid of the frame craft box or you can stitch just the angel uh, my favorite is this one the large one so i would stitch the large one still yeah this one and i'm going to film this one like separately because uh, i have just received this uh, little uh, nice box uh which uh, traveled quite a lot okay not a lot a lot but quite a lot uh, this is a um, purchase I made from a cross teacher. Yes, uh, her name is uh, Nadia Nadezhda, and uh, she is an artist. Uh, so she uh, paints. Uh, she paints as a profession, but uh, her hobby is uh, cross teaching, and. Um, like uh, liking so much, loving uh, this hobby, she decided to create a collection, a Christmas winter collection, uh, which includes cross stitching and uh, accessories for cross stitching. I will leave in the info box the um, link to her channel and the video where she shows how she created this one. I just didn't uh, because I am one of her followers since she started filming. And uh, when I saw this video, I was like, wow. <laughs> and uh, I didn't even watch the whole video because I already uh, wrote to her that I would like to, to order uh, some of these uh, goodies. So in a second, you'll see what I have here, actually. So I just took them out of their packet so that I wouldn't make noises and I'm going to show you what I have uh, here. So I wanted to pay attention that here is uh, the sticker which was used here and you'll see it like in uh, other uh, images. Uh, this is um, her logo, she has the, the logo. So what I have actually, this is um, just a card saying thank you for, for purchasing this, uh, uh, to making the purchase, so where should it signed? Uh, like signed herself and the main how they say uh, uh, reason which uh, for which I purchased this one uh, made the purchase let's say so it's this kit so this is a kit of um, Christmas tree decoration such a um, gnome uh, and he is uh, playing the uh, drums so and the box, it was packed in, pay attention, it's the imitation of the um, um, matches, the box of matches. You see? Very, very nice. I'm going to open it in a second. Then uh, there was um, such a slide, you know, the usual slides, which also is uh, with a um, uh, sticker with uh, this uh, gnome. You see in just a second i wanted to open it for you and to show you what there is inside and inside there are stickers which says for b for needles number 24 for needles number 26 for um bead needles and for sewing needles so these ones you can uh, um, stick to have uh, um, i mean like um, slides and you can use it which is very very nice I would say 
okay and two more these actually are um, scissor folds but i'm not going to use them as scissor folds because i consider that this is going to be uh how they say a waste of uh, beauty the thing is that uh, nadia uh, made uh, painted this ones by herself so she made a very limited uh, number of this ones this is a drum so this is wooden you see and the, the painting which is made here the painting is made manually by her which i consider that it's super nice and the snowman you see the face and the buttons they are also painted by her they look very very nice that's why in my case i'm going to use this ones as christmas tree decorations you see so i'm not going to use them as uh, uh, scissor phobes because I, I i wouldn't <laughs> allow myself to do this so these were the four things i purchased so it was the slide it was the kit and it was the scissor phobes but but I got presents, lots of them. So these are presents actually. What I have got as a present, I have got a card with uh, needles, needles number 26, 12 needles, you see. I already have needles for this one. I have needles already to stitch this one, you see. Uh, then I have an organizer like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12, for 12, uh, um, um like colors of uh, threads here i can write uh, the uh, number of the um, because i'm working usually with numbers i don't write the, i don't do the symbols but if you work with symbols you can do the symbols and you would say okay if you do a project what next okay that's what's next there are uh stickers so that you can stick like on the previous ones and you have stickers for i think at least one two three four for four projects and this one would be the fifth but i'm working with numbers so in my case i think it's going to be okay and here these two bands are not uh, accidental because here you can put the uh, needle with the thread already in it if you are losing multiple needles for your um, for your project which is a very very uh, good idea uh, then this is a gift tag she also has uh, three, I think, models of gift tags in her um, uh, collection. And you saw that this one is a, a hoop, embroidery hoop. Then there are like two rulers of how these ones are called for determining the uh, count of the uh, um, even weave of the, um, how is it said, of the Aida. And there are two. So this is how they look here. They are different, you see. So here again, it's the gnome from the gnome collection, and here is uh, this one. And there are two because um, this one is for 18th count, this one is for 16th count, you see, uh, and this one is for 14th count, and this one is for 11th count, you see. So nice, very, very nice. Nice. And yes, let me open this one and you'll see what we have inside of this nice and cute um, um, match box. Oh, and I was taking those out and I just noticed a uh, little chocolate, cute nice chocolate for coffee. Also with the lo her logo, as I said, she has the logo. I, I am impressed. I'm really, really impressed. So this is attention to the teacher to every every absolutely detail So what we have in this box, 
Uh, first of all, it's the um, organizer with the threads. The threads are DMC, 10 color of threads, not a lot. The uh, size of the, uh, because this is a the Christmas tree toy. Did I tell you about this? Uh, the size is going to be for, like the stitch, as far as I understand, three by 12 centimeters. So it's a little one. So this one, and here again, it's for needles to use it. Uh, the um, linen. So this is the linen on which you stitch the um, gnome. And this is going to be for the back side. Uh, the chart, by the way, this would be the chart. I'm not going to show you the chart, but I'm going to show you how this one is going to look like. You see? Here, the sides, how it looks like. And this one is going to stand, uh, so you're not going to hang it. If you want, you can make it hang. But this one is designed so that you would like, uh, how did it say? Like a peg. <laughs> And these are the materials you need for uh, that one. So this is a thread and the needle to attach together the sides. This is the uh, cardboard and the peg itself. So to, to pick it, everything is indicated in the uh, key. And this is a, a gnome who plays the drums, as you can see from here. And he has drums. So these ones are made from polymer clay. Just a sec. You see, she made it by herself from polymer clay. So hand handmade. And uh, these ones, they are made from uh, matches. Matches and this one also is polymer clay. So you can imagine. Uh, and for, for each uh, uh, gnome from the collection, she made it like uh, manually. <laughs> All these things. So this is This is super great. And uh, that's not everything, just let's see what else we have here. So this is the key, and uh, as you can see here, there is a needle, number 26, to do it. And um, if you want, after using uh, these ones for uh, this uh, project, you have here stickers, and you can use them for other projects as well. But I have one more, which I have it as a present. So you see? Uh, this one is for 12, this one is for 10. For small projects, I can use, I can use it. And, and uh, yes, this is the already the, the box. And uh, there is a stick which was put here so that uh, you would, uh, we, when you attach these two parts together, you would like turn it on the other side. Uh, in case you are not stitching, uh, sewing it uh, another other ways. And uh, when you are filling it in with um, filling, so that you would tuck the filling in. As uh, I remember Nadia was saying in her video, so the only thing she didn't include and you would need uh, from uh, your uh, stash, <laughs> this is uh, uh, glue and uh, this is uh, filling for the toy. The rest of the things, absolutely, everything is given uh, is given here and you can use it from here. Amazing, <laughs> amazing, I would say. So yes, I'm repeating myself. I'm going to leave the link in the info box and uh, you can uh, watch the video about this collection. Uh, there is the also, uh, if you open that video in uh, the um, uh, description of the video, you already can see her site where she's selling this. And um, so far, I would say that uh, the way she films her video, for me, are the most beautiful ones. So for me, the person uh, who is fil filming her videos like this, you see just talking hands on the table, Anyway, this is taking time, you see, like uh, talking, doing the the um, arrangement, uh, um, like um, when you already cut the, the pieces and make a video. So all this takes takes time, but the way she's filming it and she's making it, it takes even more time. So that's why I kindly invite you to her channel to see what she's doing, what she's uh, creating. And... Again, Nadia, if you are watching the film in uh, this video in uh, uh, English, thank you very much for everything. And uh, that's it. Yes, this is everything which I have been buying so far for my cross stitch, beloved cross stitch hobby. I hope it was interesting for you. I hope you liked the video. And of course, see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.